Faith, and today, guys, we are talking about canceling each other. <laughs> yeah. We're gonna cancel each other today. Yeah, he's so canceled. Guys, I'm going to expose him. I'm exposing you. Oh, I'm gonna expose you then. I got DMs, I got tweets. I have screenshots, I have text messages. Period. Go grab yourself a snack because this video is gonna be a nice little sit down. We're gonna eat together, we're gonna talk. You know, we like to talk to you guys sometimes. So, we're gonna spill some tea and we're just gonna shoot around with you, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, there's some things we wanna talk about. Just For like sure. a few things. Yeah. Okay, so if you guys are new here, you don't know this, but when we do sit down videos and talk to you guys, we like to eat because, I mean, we're hungry and we need to talk. Yes, sir. Now guys, make sure to like, comment, subscribe, <clears throat> support Black Lives Matter. We have petitions in the links. Follow us on TikTok. We post there every single day. That's a damn lie, but we do have fun on there. We do have cool videos on there if you guys want some more Aaron and Faith content. Okay, so today we're going to talk about basically cancel culture, but we're also going to mention... Pause. Can I just say you look beautiful? Aww. You look really pretty. Thank you. Can I have a kiss? You look gorgeous. Thank you. Sweet. Aww. It's got me all nervous. So we're gonna talk about Tati Westbrook. Some of you guys know her. Some of you guys don't know her because she's not, you know, in our genre. So they're like some makeup people, but it's basically like, I'm sure you guys have heard about it if you like go on YouTube a lot. It's basically this whole beef between makeup people. Basically, long story short, Tati Westbrook was talking about James Charles in a video from a long time ago. It was like a, a year ago. She was exposing him, showing receipts, whatever. Pretty much defaming him, allegedly. Now she wants to apologize about it and say she was wrong or whatever and whatever. So we're here to talk about that a little bit. Just yeah. a little bit. We're not really going to get deep into it. The whole point of this is about cancel culture. That kind of inspired it, like what we're talking about today, but like everyone getting canceled every day is getting kind of ridiculous at this point. It was like Jenna Marbles, Shane Dawson, uh, Liza David, like it, it, like everyone's getting canceled left and right. What are your thoughts and opinions on cancel culture in general? Just like straight off the dome. What are your, like, what are your thoughts on it? I think cancel culture is toxic, it's ridiculous. I feel like people who are canceling others don't even know why they're canceling them. They're just trying to hop on this trend or they're just trying to like be the next person that was canceling this person. And the reasons behind it is ridiculous and like people just don't. People put these influencers on a pedestal. Yes. And they expect influencers to be so perfect, be polished at all times, and they forget that influencers are literally just like them. They're normal people just like you. They just have a following you know that kind of brings into my point of like people who cancel keep canceling you're just gonna get like a rotation of people no one's ever gonna stay everyone makes mistakes everyone's human you can't keep canceling everyone mm -hmm. you just can't I mean they're gonna try I'm sure they're gonna try until some shit happens where like an influencer himself because they got canceled that's the type of energy they're putting out Tati started this she canceled James and then she got backlash and people tried to kill her guys this is just what happens when you try to cancel people you put negative energy out and you're just gonna get it back in some form that's on period so that kind of brings up Shane Shane Dawson he is getting canceled for um using blackface and I think she's like pushing me she knows what she's doing. So Shane's getting canceled for blackface and- Racist slurs and sexualizing children, the, allegedly. I mean, if you've seen the Willow Smith video, I mean, yeah, you can draw your own conclusion from it. My whole point when I heard about this and when I hear about like anyone getting canceled, like Liza for like the whole Mexican character thing, it's like you guys approved it in the first place. These aren't secret videos. These are videos they put out in the public and you guys gave it an okay. So either we all evolved and we changed and got better, mm -hmm. which is most likely what happened, or they're a piece of Now, which one do you think it is? I think he evolved and got better. I think so too. People, especially when they're younger, they f*** up. Yeah, it's just, you can cancel all these people for all these things like Jenna, mm -hmm. Jenna Marbles, the whole Nicki Minaj thing, whatever. Yeah. Back then, that was normal. It wasn't like, her being racist. Preach. It wasn't her being racist, it was her being funny. Mm -hmm. 
and just making fun of Nicki Minaj in general. It wasn't her being like, oh, Nicki Minaj is black. Yeah. Like, that's really awkward that you would just try to put that together during this time, especially during this time. Such a touchy time, like, Black Lives Matter. Like, yeah. this whole movement, it's not about going and nitpicking at people that used to be kind of racist mm -hmm. or, like, that used to do stereotypes and jokes and comedy about race, you know? Yeah. Back then, I don't even remember when that was, like, 2000-something? Yeah. People were just doing that, making racist jokes. In general, it's not funny. Like, even back then, it's not funny. You know, mm -hmm. it's not okay to be racist. But back then, it was just normal to make jokes like that. If you were truly that offended, you should have been that offended last, like, back when it exactly. was starting. I don't want to see one person cancel, like, canceling someone that is, like, under the age of 23. Like, these better be some f***ing kids canceling. Because mm -hmm. anyone who's old enough to know should know we all did that shit back in the day. But, like, any bad words, mm -hmm. we've probably said it. Oh, yeah. Yeah. We've definitely said it as yeah. children. That's just a fact. Yeah, like bleep this out, but like saying <laughs> saying <laughs> it was never something that was like, oh, you're a f like, you know, like yeah. it was never against somebody as who they are as a person, yeah. you know? We never we never seen anyone get called that word in front of like like a gay person's face. Never. I think if we did, everyone would be like, that's Hey, Even yeah. back then as kids, we said it as like this weird term of endearment that wasn't right. But guys, everyone said it. That's our point. Mm -hmm. You can't go and do this. Like you can't go and change the past. You just can't. You can't. Mm -hmm. Going and digging into people's past is like, you have way too much time on your hands. Like you need to be turning that, up, that time into money. Like stop trying to dig shit up. If we were to ever get canceled or like as we're growing more and more people are feeling entitled to our content And they're feeling like they have a say in what we do or what we say like these two girls were mad that I was talking about something and like I don't care not to be negative or whatever mm -hmm. But if you ever feel like there's something that I do that you don't like or Aaron does that you guys don't like Like I don't want to be like we don't give a f mm -hmm. but we clearly like we don't yeah. Care putting out content for you to see and we're putting out content that we want to put out that exactly. we like to film There's just never gonna be something where you say something like oh, I don't like that you guys did this Yeah, and we're gonna be like, oh, okay. We won't do that again. Exactly. No, we live our life That's how it should be you yeah. actually let other people live their lives as long as they're not doing stuff That's like hurting you hurting you Personally, we like we vibe with everyone who comments. Mm -hmm. we, we literally respond to every comment mm -hmm. and we try to make a personal connection. You guys come off, like come around every day. So we make a connection with you guys. Overall point, we're never gonna filter ourselves to be a certain way viewers want us to be. Yeah. We're just gonna keep being ourselves because that's how we started. Started our channel by being ourselves. Nobody had anything to tell us and that's how we're gonna write it out. Like we're yeah. always gonna be just doing us, doing what we wanna do, putting out what we wanna put out. And if you don't like it, you unsubscribe or you click out of the video and that's it leaving a comment isn't gonna change anything I feel like that's where people get lost too is like when they start adjusting themselves to like other people like how yeah they should live other people Fitting the audience then they end like up getting lost yeah but we know like 99.9% .9 of our audience is dope as fuck and they're part yeah. of our family so yeah and you f with us no matter what we do and that's exactly. totally cool with if you're that. part of the family none of that sh parts you and you know it it doesn't apply to you Guys, this is how simple it is to get canceled. Yesterday, I'll, I'll show you the screenshots. I was playing 2K, right? NBA 2K. And this dude was calling me names just because I was beating him. I turned my mic on and he's all like talking crap about the game, right? Basically said, go back to your country. Started saying racist stuff. He ended up quitting and screaming like a psychopath at the end of the game. And I have screenshots that I'll show here. He's basically threatening to kill me over a game. And he said he's gonna end our YouTube career. Because uh -huh. I have my YouTube posted on my PlayStation if anyone wants to check it out. Think about that. Someone could literally go on our channel if they just wanted to, like, because of a video game. They could right. try to cancel us. Right. They could say whatever they wanted. Cancel culture has so much power to an extent. You guys just need to, like, live a life. Like, get, like, this dude wanted to ruin everything over a video game. I know. And, like, you can't even cancel me over anything, but he's gonna try his hardest. Yeah, like, you need to think about why you're canceling people and what it's doing for you. You. Is this gonna help you financially? Probably not. Realistically, like this is just real 
the celebrities who have these problems, these are not the people you need to be worrying about. That's just straight up. I'm not gonna go into it, but those are not the people you need to be worrying about in the grand, grand scheme of things. Like, these are influencers, yes, and they may have done a mistake, like use blackface, which wasn't even blackface. And there are people out there that are actually evil people. Like, you guys need to get it twisted. You wanna go chase someone? Go do some other human justice shit. Like, digging up celebrity shit does not do anything for the world. It's gonna do nothing except hurt their fans. Go sign some petitions or something. Sorry guys, I don't wanna offend you. I feel like, I don't wanna feel like I'm yelling at them. Cause we're oh, we're not, la we're, we're just very yeah. um, passionate about this. Also, if you're not old enough to really understand this conversation right now, I'm sorry. And you need to understand that th we're gonna be doing videos like this sometimes. Like, yeah. it's all fun and games, you know, all the time. But when we're serious, we're serious. The other point I wanna make is you, if you haven't lived long enough, you need to look at the other side. Like Black Lives Matter right now, you guys need to have tough conversations if you're white and you, have, you wanna talk to a black friend. You guys have to have tough conversations. We know that, right? Mm -hmm. That's the same thing you need to do with these creators. You need to ask why you did this, not fucking go and end their career. Like, one of these celebs get canceled. I don't think I've seen a black person try to cancel Jenna Marbles. You know Jenna Marbles. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. For like, I don't think so. Why do Why do other races care so much about other stuff when they don't really care? Mm -hmm. They don't really care. You guys weren't f f caring about Black Lives Matter, but you want to dig up some old to cancel the person like that's right. just how i feel i feel right. like you're not really about it yeah if you haven't signed one petition or done anything to support the movement of black lives matter don't go after anybody who's done some racist sh just don't like that's so stupid like you're just such a clown for that the pathetic part is the, that racist that racist person probably has done more for black lives matter than they've done trying to cancel him exactly like shane dawson he's definitely posting like black lives matter this black lives matter that and you're out here digging through digging through each part of his post of all yeah. time think about that just think about that yeah. like seriously that's disgusting it was a serious video today guys but i feel like it needs to be talked about mm -hmm. i think you should talk about it with your family along with other important issues like just sensitivity race all these important subjects guys you, you need to talk about it with your family friends whatever just talk yeah. about these things because we're too sensitive right now we're too assuming it's left or right it's bam it's nothing that we can we don't have a middle ground in society right now and it's awful start off with talking I'm just eating your snacks Aww. so i'm gonna wrap this video up by saying don't be Rude. We really appreciate it if you guys made it this far and kind of just listen to our thoughts and we hope you guys absorb some of it and how you can help just this world be a better place. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Shout out. Let's do some shout outs. <laughs> Alright guys. First shout out of the day goes to having fun with Corinne. Yo, thank you having fun. I don't think, have we seen her before? We haven't. We I haven't. haven't. Thank you so much. Thank you for joining the squad. Thank yeah. you for watching the whole video. Drop in the emojis. If you're new here, <coughs> go ahead and join the squad. Michael <laughs> was dropping out Burger Kings or burgers in the video. So go <laughs> grab a burger emoji. It'll hang that out for you. Just have fun with our squad, guys. We have so much fun here. It's insane. We have a lot of fun. Okay, good. Next shout out goes to, you don't know my name. I haven't, you don't know my name. I haven't seen them before, but thank you so much. Uh, we love you. Yeah. You made it all the way through. We love seeing new faces because like, we're building a family here. We are building a family. You all can sit with us. The last shout out goes to, Yolanda Ben. Yo, shout out Yolanda. Thank you so much for joining the squad. If you watched the whole video, it means you're a real one. That's gonna do it for today's video. Baby, what is our emoji for the day? Today's emoji is the popcorn emoji. Hey, Drop the popcorn emoji in the comments below if you want a shout out in the next video, just like they got. Baby, you know what time it is. Let me, I have to say it, right? Yeah. Hit him with it. To all my niggas and go getters Kings, I see like vanilla for most grilla I might just chop it up with jigger and hold some figures I got my fingers to the media, I'm building